All right, Jill. Forensics just picked up this guy about an hour ago. Um, we're still getting um, a lot of the evidence uh, organized right now. Looks like we so. got a pencil over here. Calculator. What's this? Looks like a calc problem. Huh. Looks like this guy exceeded his limit. Okay, we're trying to solve this problem using the limit process. We've got to use this formula, f of x plus h minus our original f of x all over h. So when we plug our problem into this um, equation, we get the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 2x plus h plus 1 minus 1 over 2x plus 1 all over h. To get rid of those fractions, we're going to multiply by the common denominator, which is 2x plus 1 times 2x plus h plus 1. When we do that, we're going to get 2x plus 1 minus 2x plus h plus 1, all over 2x pl plus 1 times 2x plus, plus, plus h plus 1. When we uh, simplify the top, we get 2x plus 1 and we're going to carry that negative through to all terms, so we're going to get minus 2x minus 2h minus 1. That's going to stay the same. The limit as x approaches 0, now we're going to cancel out what we can, so we can take those out, and then the 1's cancel out, so we're left with negative 2h all over h times 2x plus 1 times 2x plus h plus 1. This bottom h and this top h are going to cancel out, so then we're going to be left with the limit as x approaches 0 is going to be negative 2 over 2x plus 1 times 2x plus h plus 1. Now we can start writing the limit because now we're actually going to put the 0 in where the h goes. So when we do that, we're going to be left with negative 2 over 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. We can write that as negative 2 over 2x plus 1 squared. That's the answer to our problem using the limit process.